Aspiration and Realization, a talk given by spiritual master Sri Chinmoy at the Sydney Town Hall, 5th of March, 1976. Dear sisters and brothers, I wish to give a short talk on aspiration and realization. Slowly, steadily and unerringly. Slowly, the seeker enters the spiritual life. Steadily, he makes progress. Unerringly, he comes to his journey's close and realizes God. At every moment of our journey, aspiration is necessary. But this aspiration, again, has to be genuine. It has to come from the very depths of our heart. Real aspiration doesn't know how to pull or push. Restlessness and aspiration can never go together. Very often, when beginners aspire, they try to be very dynamic. This is good, but unfortunately, they confuse dynamism and determination with restlessness. They want to realize God tomorrow, but this kind of restlessness demand is not aspiration. There is always a time span between the planting of the seed and the harvest. The planting is aspiration and the harvest is realization. Is aspiration something that we already had or is it something that we are going to have? It is both. If we say that we always had aspiration, this is true because we live in eternal time. But if we say that we are trying or crying to bring the inner urge of the heart to the fore, here also we are correct. When we sit at the feet of eternity, we realize that aspiration is bound to be followed by realization. And when we make friends with eternal time, we come to realize that realization was hidden all along in aspiration. In the outer world, we see that the tree is a symbol of aspiration. Here on earth, it remains, but its aim is to reach the highest. We human beings are afraid of staying on earth. We feel that if we stay on earth, then we cannot reach the highest. We cannot look upward. But the tree makes us feel that this is absurd. The root of the tree is under the ground, but the topmost branch is aspiring towards the highest. In the Upanishads, we come across a tree named the Ashwata tree. Unlike earthly trees, this tree has its roots above the ground facing the sky and its branches down below. This tree has two types of branches. One type enters into the meshes of ignorance and starts struggling and fighting to come out again into the effulgence of light. The other type of branch always tries to remain up. Its movement is upward. Its aspiration is upward. Even though its branches face downward, this type of branch always looks upward. So let us think of this tree and aspire most sincerely and powerfully. Today's aspiration is the realization of tomorrow and the manifestation of the day after tomorrow. At the dawn of our journey, we start with aspiration, and at the end of our journey's close, there is salvation, liberation, and illumination. When illumination takes place, it is undoubtedly, unmistakably, infallibly, the transcendental victory's crown. Ours is the aspiring soul. Ours is the destined goal decreed here and now in the immediacy of today.